Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, we have an inbox review now of the Mini Art European tram car. I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but it ends in 641. This comes with crew and passengers. The box number is 38009. It is 135th scale. And on this side, it's showing you what you get as well in the box. You get the diorama base with the, I don't really know what they're called, but I'm going to call them poles with to carry in the electric. You get 10 figures all together, which is pretty cool. You get two crew members and the rest are civilians. We also get uh, railings, seats, uh, and some other bits and pieces here, drain covers, and some bollards. And that's what you get in this kit. Uh, I'm not going to run around the box art because there's nothing on it. This is basically what you get. And this is, like I say, it's 135th scale. And we'll open it up and have a look. If I can open it up and have a look. All right, top of the box, the workshop manual, which I shall have a look at in a minute, a bit closer in detail. And we'll start off with, we've got the diorama. Right, everything comes in one bag. There is a lot of sprues there, or trees, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I don't really like this. I do like to see them individually wrapped, but I can see the clear parts in there uh, wrapped separately, so that's not too bad. We'll put them to one side. We'll dispose of the box and I shall drop the camera down and we'll take a look at the workshop manual. Right, workshop manual, typical of mini art, nice thick, good quality uh, workshop manual book. Uh, and I like it in the uh, book form. Uh, on the front, not a great deal to see because just a few pictures of the uh, tram bit of a cab drawing down here, that's it. And we'll get straight in onto the first page. Now I've already had a look through this. Now this is a very busy, busy uh, instruction book, so I'm not going to linger too long. Uh, first two pages just show you different uh, variants, well not actually variants, but uh, different ways of using the advertising and the colours that you can actually use. Now I have noticed there's just one European one, and the rest are stated out as, as German. So I've already got this one, the German one, in my stash. So I'm just wondering if they're exactly the same. I should have really had a look, but I was so desperate to get a European one. That's the one I was after. So all in all, this might be some sort of like rebox of the uh, German one, because they also did a European one. Uh, it was on a limited edition, and that was the one I was looking for. And they come out as so expensive that uh, when this one came out, I thought I'll go for this one. Anyway, going off, go, we're going off the plan there. Uh, kick off with uh, sprue map, telling you how many different, how many sprues you should have. You know, four of, two of, two of, two of. There's a lot of sprues in this uh, kit, and very, very busy. Right. The first page, step one, uh, lower, well, I should say lower deck, uh, and the suspension units. Like I say, I'm not going to linger too long because it is a lot and that each step is quite busy. Uh, bring that back. Now you build this in two halves and then the two halves get joined together. But everything is nice and clear, nicely set out. Uh, you can see all the parts to see which way they go up and which way they go in. Uh, Mini Art have laid it out really nice, which uh, I do appreciate that because uh, sometimes you can get a, be a little bit misled over different bits and pieces. 
There's a lot of steps in here. There's 49 steps altogether for the actual uh, tram. And as I say, as we're going through here, look, we've got the assembly front and back. I'm not going to linger too much because there is a lot on here to do. There's a lot of glass uh, to go in. But as I say, everything is nicely laid out so you can see everything. And if you can hear some noise in the background, it's my noisy next door neighbour. Right, on to the next part, the roof assembly. Uh, the uh, roof skylights. Like I say, there's a lot going on in this. There's a very lot going on. Right, and then we're on to the uh, bogey. I always thought there were two bogies, very similar to a train, but it shows you that I am wrong. Uh, there's one bogey. Uh, with the drive motors in so but every stage is extremely busy really busy it's going to be a very enjoyable oh well I find this sort of build quite enjoyable on to the final part like I say we've got 49 49 steps here there's a film made out that's 49 steps no, I, I can't remember that uh, the roof and the last few bits and pieces. We go on to step 50, which is the poles that actually carry the electric uh, for the trams, assembling them. Then on to the final bit, the diorama. You get a diorama base in this, which we'll have a closer look at. You also get railings, manhole, storm drains, steel uh, uh, bollards, uh, and seats which is pretty cool it gives you a complete small diorama which is very good on to the advertising sheet as you can see you've got plenty of a choice of different advertising to go on to your tram oh we've even got personal there that's kind of too bad over now we have uh, 10 figures all together in this kit which is pretty cool uh, we have two, uh, a conductor and a driver, and then we have the rest, eight of the figures are uh, civilians. Uh, I suppose you could put a few army people with this to make it, you know, whatever you want. Actually, I might even do that. I might even put uh, some uh, troops milling around with them, which would be pretty cool. Uh, Colour callouts. Uh, we've got Ammo Mig, Humble, we've got Mr. Colour, we've got Testers, and we've got Vallejo, which is nice to see. And that will also please my uh, good friend Jens, because he hates having just one company's uh, colour callouts. So that's that bit. And on to the back, we have, well, just some more pictures of, uh, oh, we've got one for Belgium here. And we've got one from for Germany. So, oh, we've got two for Belgium. So you you you've got two different ones there, and the rest of the rest of the ones have been for German. So that's it on the workshop manual. And now we'll get, we'll have a closer look at the sprues. Right, I've brought the camera down nice and low, and we'll have a look at these sprues now. Uh, there's two of these sprues, so I shall move one out of the way. And this is sprue A, and you've got two of these. Uh, this is the roof section. And as you can see, there's a little bit of marbling on there, but it's dead flush. So it's only marking in the plastic where it's been injected into the mould. Now, I'm not going to linger too long, because there is a lot of plastic. Well detailed, no flash. Yet again, bottom deck wooden slats nicely detailed uh, will come up nice that's that one we'll move on now to the next one now this one there's three sprues but they're all attached together so we'll move one and we'll start with this one now this one's the I would say the engine well the electric motor and the drive cover there uh, I haven't got a clue what these bits are, but they're all 
uh, nice and crisp, clean. I think they call this a cow catcher. I think they go on the front and back, stop things being dragged underneath. But all the parts uh, nice and clean and tidy. And that was screw uh, G, 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 B, G, D. All right, that's that one done. Uh, next one is the same. We have two of these. This is screw uh, screw B, breaking these teeth in for the goldfish. All right. These are the doors, uh, something to do with the lower bogey. These would actually be the cabin doors, I suppose. And going down, I haven't really got a clue what the, all the bits are for, but that will come apparent. I would say they are the seats, nicely done. As for wood, right, that's that one done. We'll go over to this one. There's four, four of these. And what have we got? Let's have a little look. A lot of small stuff. Uh, the tram wheels, four of them, that would be. Suspension and handles, lots and lots of little handles and ties. All nicely done, as usual for Mini Art. Mini Art are very good. Right, that's that one. Now going on. Now we have uh, two of these screws. I should get rid of one again. And we'll start from the top, uh, which are the doors. Uh, there's two of them for the folding doors. The actual front, which is nicely done as well. We'll turn it over in a minute and have a look for injector pin marks. More suspension parts. Uh, I do recognise that that will be for the skylights on the roof. Just turn that over. Uh, pretty clean on the injector marks. Uh, these are the doors I've got some, but I don't know if they're actually covered. We'll soon see. A, soon see when we start putting that together. There's a few on the front there, but uh, that's going to be covered as well. But I do think these doors slot inside of each other somehow. But that will come apparent when I'm doing it. Right, that's that one. On to the next one. And there's two of these as well. Uh, let's turn that over. We'll do it from that way. Right. Uh, that's the bogey support, nicely detailed, plenty of uh, rivets and bolts on there. Um, what these parts are, like I say, I don't know because there's so many, so many of them. Uh, this looks like the back of the seat, I think. Uh, but they're all nice and clean, nice and crisp, no flash. And that's what you want. Now, that is it for screws. Mind you, there's a big pile of screws there for the actual tram. Now, I'm going to do the diorama bits separately because uh, I really want to drop the camera down a bit more so we can take a better look at the uh, figures. Right, uh, these are the. Uh, I don't know what they're called actually. Uh, they're the posts that actually take carry the, the electric cable for the tram. They're very well, very well detailed. They are really are nice and nice. I've done mini art stuff as thin as this before, and it does come off the sprue quite well. And this top bit that actually carries the cable, if we turn it over, it's all cast in one, so you've got no seam marks down there. And the same with the pole. The pole is all cast in one. It's just the light and the bottom half that are two halves. 
which I don't think there's going to be much problem with that. Now you get two of them for two of them for your posts. I'm going to call them posts. Now the next thing we've got is we've got four of these all together, and these consist of we've got some very nice railings here and the one end of a bench which is very very well done very finely cast then we've got uh, the round manhole which again is uh, very nicely done and also we've got storm drains which are very nicely done as well and also we've got different uh, shaped bollards here uh, we've got two uh, about two, four, yeah, about four of them all together. Uh, bench seats, all very well done, all, all nice and crisp. No problems with them at all. I'll right, put them to one side. Now, I'm going to stop the camera and we'll have a look at the uh, the actual base. Okay, this is the actual base. It's vacuum, one of them vacuum ones, which I'm not too keen on. Uh, it's well detailed, but it's got all these little nipples on it, as I call them, that you will have to take off uh, to make it look any part reasonable. Uh, this, myself, this will not be used. I will be making, uh, constructing my own base using blocks and making a, hopefully a, a lot better job than that but I thought I'd show you it for the simple reasons if you're buying this kit to build to have this as your base it is pretty good there's there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it but there'll be a lot of mucking about taking these uh, lumps off where it's been uh, vacuum pressed if you understand what I mean so yeah not too bad now I'm going to drop the camera down and we'll have a look at the figures Right, if the picture and sound has changed, I've just swapped over cameras because the other camera just doesn't like doing things up nice and close. And these are the figures and I wanted to have a good look. Uh, plenty of seam lines on them, a bit tatty. <laughs> and uh, by the look of it we have the German emblem on this gentleman's cap. Face is pretty good. Uh, but it seems to let itself down with the amount of uh, spillage that's out the side of the moulds but not too bad and I'm going to say that dreadful word with a little bit of patience gents you could make these look good uh, face looks pretty good we have a hand stuck on the side of a hat uh, it must be uh, lifting his hat to somebody uh, same again plenty of spillage at the, at the uh, actual side of the moulds which uh, doesn't make life very much easier right uh, this young lady uh, she looks a bit scary to me but uh, there you go and a great big uh, I don't know what they call these I know it's to help the flow of the plastic, but uh, it seems to be a great big chunk of plastic on a little tiny piece of uh, moulding. Uh, we'll shift on. Legs, well, you can actually see the muscles, uh, the ankle and the feet, so it's not too bad. Just turn that over, see what the other side's like. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. But like I say, it's just a shame that the spillage out the side of the moulds is a little bit prominent on there. They're going to have a lot of scraping back on the seams. On to the next one. I think this is the uh, Lady Conductor. Face is not too bad. Uh, like I say again, it's just it's just tatty around the edges. 
but there we go, with a little bit of patience, and I'll keep saying that word because it'll upset Jens, a little bit of patience uh, with the knife that will probably scrape down. Uh, what's this gentleman? He's got a briefcase, I've got him upside down. We're going to have a look at the face. Uh, face, not too bad. Right. Oh, he's got a waistcoat on two part jacket. I suppose they glue either side on them ridges. Not too bad, still the same spillage around the outside. Uh, on to another lady now. Uh, face is pretty good. Same with that one, you've got some muscle tone, the ankle bone showing through, only just though. Uh, not too bad on the detail, but still that little bit of uh, spillage again. What have we got here? Uh, we've got the old man, we've got the walking stick. His face is very good though, I like his face, walking stick. Plenty of spillage again. Get the hat, nicely done. Uh, we'll see what they uh, paint up like. Ain't got many more to go. Uh, face, quite nice. Uh, again with the legs, there's some muscle tone there. Plenty of scraping back to do though, on all of it, but not too bad. This is the, I think this is the old lady, her face looks a bit manly but there we go. Still quite a lot of uh, spillage out the side there, yeah not too bad, not too bad. Uh, this is the final one. Face, not too bad. Here's the part that uh, fell off, which is the hat. Uh, as you can see around that, there's plenty of spillage, plenty of cleaning up to do. The hands don't look too bad though. Uh, yeah, all in all, not too bad. Uh, I'll lift the camera up a bit now and uh, I've got some other bits to have a look at. Alright, we have finally have the decals, decals, transfers or stickers, whichever you would like to call them, is fine by me. Uh, I haven't got a clue really what I'm looking at, but there you go, I'll let you see them. They don't seem to be too, too bad. Uh, people worry about that overspill how much sticks out from the actual uh, transfer or sticker or decal whatever you want to call them but there you go that's that now I don't know if the lights gonna go mad these are all the clear parts there's one two three four five Six sprues of clear parts. I'm not going to get that bag because they are clear parts and there's not a lot you can say about a clear part except for it's clear. Uh, it looks like there's a couple of lenses there for lights front and back. Well, depends in which way it's travelling, isn't it? So there's no front to it and there's no back to it. So, but all in all, not too bad. Uh, I think this personally is just a rebox and all they've done is thrown in a few extra bits and pieces. Uh, I've just, I, while I was here I went across and because uh, my good friend Jens, he did a review on one that he got for his birthday I think it was. And looking through his parts there's no difference between that and this. So. If you're looking for a European tram, you'd probably be better just to buy uh, the German one. This came in at 50, well, just under 50 pound. So the decision is yours. Uh, personally, I think it's good value. You get all your 
uh, dive armor stuff, your manholes and drains, and you can really make this look quite nice, really smart. Uh, me, I'll be off doing building a separate base to this. And that's about it. And thank you very much for joining me. And we'll see you on the next one. And uh, have fun.